How I went from zero to two and a half million streams on a zero pound budget while studying at university. So in 2019, I went to university to study philosophy, which is completely unrelated to music. But before going to university, I really developed a passion and a love for music, as I started to write my own songs and record covers at home. I was never gonna stop making music because I was at university. I always saw university as a great opportunity to grow my music and reach loads of new people. So that's exactly what I did. I was doing my uni degree, but spending all of my free time focused on my music. I never saw it as a chore. And I actually think that being at university helped me put a structure in place to actually dedicate certain times of the day to focus on my music. And that's how Night Angel came about, which is now currently sitting on over two and a half million streams on Spotify alone. And I remember being in my university room in first year, a few months after starting starting university and I was just trying to get some ideas down and record a rough demo because the rest of my flatmates were in the kitchen and they were preying and it was quite loud so I wanted to get the demo finished and wrapped up as quickly as possible so I finished recording and joined everyone else in the kitchen and we went out and when I went home for Christmas a few months later I booked in with a recording studio to try and get the song recorded properly because like I say I'd only recorded a rough demo in my university room so I booked in a couple of days to focus on the song and get it recorded but after hours and hours of trying to get it to sound right it had lost something because that version I'd recorded at university was so raw and vulnerable that that's what the song actually needed. So I went home and I felt a little bit disheartened. But a few more months went on and I was playing the song and I thought, why should it matter that I haven't recorded it in a studio? Because I liked it and it's something that I genuinely would listen to. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to release it and see what happens. But as it was getting closer and closer to the day of release, I was showing a lot of my close friends and family the song to see what they thought about it. Because I was quite nervous and I hadn't really put anything out beforehand. So I wanted to see what people thought about the song and the reaction was very 50-50. Some people were saying they loved it and they loved the lo-fi nature of it and others were saying it didn't sound professional enough to release on Spotify and Apple Music. And I genuinely did take that on board but I still released the song because I felt that was the right thing to do. Night Angel actually did really well in the first few months as it got a few thousand streams which was absolutely crazy to me as someone that had never released music before that a few thousand people would actually sit there and listen to my music. But after a few months the streams had started to stagnate and they really started to slow down and I wasn't happy with that because I knew how much the song meant to me and how much I loved it and that really motivated me to start pushing the song and marketing it to try and get it heard by as many people as possible. And I'm sure a lot of you are now going to be asking, well, how can you go from zero streams to two and a half million streams on no budget? And like I touched on before, I was a university student, so I didn't have any money to spend on my music, which meant I had to be really creative in ways to market it and to really get it out there. So all of my free time was spent dedicated to my music, which doesn't just mean making music, but also making content for TikTok and Instagram, sending emails to bloggers, curators, local DJs and newspapers, as I was really focused on building relationships with people within the music scene. I've always wanted to make music that means something to people and my strategy for getting my music out there was the exact same. I wanted people to understand my journey and get to know me, the person, as much as the music. And I get a lot of artists coming to me now saying they don't really know how to start and they're unsure as to how they should promote their music. But I think it's really important to have a structure and see your music like any other job, which is why it was so important for me to have daily to-do lists where I could stay really consistent because consistency breeds momentum and momentum breeds confidence which makes having a list of things that you do every day really, really important to seeing you grow as an artist. For example, for me personally, I would send five emails every single day to try and get as much traction as possible because those five emails a day would equate to 35 emails a week, which is 140 emails a month, which gives you a massive opportunity to connect with people within the music scene and to get your music heard. Another thing that I would do every single day, which was non-negotiable, was posting a TikTok with the Night Angel sound over the top of it because TikTok was only just becoming popular popular, but I was seeing videos with thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of views. So I wanted to be on that platform pushing my music to give myself the best possible chance of growing an audience and a fan base. So I'd be posting a video every single day without fail, and I'd say those videos on average probably got about 200 views, maybe 20 to 30 likes. And when you look at it, probably around 100 of those views were from my actual followers, but the other 100 were coming from non-followers, which means that's 100 new people every single day which are hearing my music, which would be 700 people a week and just under 3,000 new people a month 
which I knew would give me a great opportunity at pushing my music and growing my fan base. And I think that doing that alongside the email strategy was perfect because sending emails felt a lot more personal. And I was really building relationships through doing that. And posting TikToks was keeping my streams consistent as there was a constant flow of new people listening to the song. And as that grew over time, it really gave me the confidence to keep pushing and keep sharing my music. And that's why I think it's so important for artists to have a list of things they can do every single day to keep promoting their music, to give them the best possible chance of growing their audience and growing a loyal fan base. Around a year after Night Angel was released, I remember waking up one morning and seeing it had got 3,000 streams in one day. So naturally, I just thought this was a glitch. It was getting thousands of streams every single day, and I couldn't believe it. So when I went on the analytics and the demographics, it was saying a lot of the traffic was coming from Germany, which was surprising as I'm an artist from the UK, and a lot of my audience was in London and in Birmingham, which is where I went to university. So I was really, really confused until someone sent me a TikTok. So I checked it out, and it's from a German influencer called Mika and she actually used the Night Angel sound in the background of her video as she was doing a get ready with me and I couldn't believe it because the video had millions of views and it now has over a hundred thousand likes so naturally I messaged Mika and I thanked her for using the song in the background of her video and then I asked myself why someone from Germany would use the song but it makes perfect sense because all of the strategies that I was using to promote my music and push my music had no ceiling and it didn't matter where you were in the world you could still hear it and because it started gaining a lot of traction in Germany Spotify if I actually put it on their discovered weekly algorithmic playlist, meaning they were organically pushing it to thousands of new people every single day, which has meant that every day since that day in 2020, Night Angel has got thousands of streams every single day. And that's all whilst I was on a zero pound budget, just trying to think of creative ways to push my music as much as I could. I remember seeing the song when it had less than a thousand streams, and now when I see it on over two and a half million, it makes me really, really proud. And I want to share my experiences and my knowledge with you guys because it's important to find creative ways of promoting your music that fits within what you're willing to do and what you're happy doing and when I look back on it now Night Angel is the only song that I've never recorded in a studio yet it's the one that's performed the best so if you have a song that you love then release it and push it as much as you can because no one else is going to believe in it unless you do and I still get messages even today from people all over the world telling me about how much Night Angel means to them which blows my mind because I recorded it at university in my uni halls in first year which is why it's so important to make music that you really really love and the rest honestly I believe will follow. If you've made it to the end of this video I really appreciate you. If you could like, comment and subscribe I'd really appreciate it so we could keep making content for you guys and remember there's nothing in the world that's more important than music. So make music that you love, music that you enjoy and enjoy the process. Sheldon Studios, always creative.